and having a laugh. And you've been vaping here as well. Breaking lunch, really, we're out. Um, there's, a, there's a team of teachers who have volunteered for this, so they'll, they'll, they'll go around the school premises and they'll come into hot spots like this place here. I think it's very disruptive, actually, because it is, there is nicotine in these things, so, and they, that's addictive, so they're looking to get out of class more often, to come down to the toilets or to somewhere to just have a vape and satisfy that craving that they have. And then here is where we can find young people congregating to vape. Um, so we've installed this morning this new vape alarm. So when these detect a vape, um, they immediately start screaming. So it's a not loud, audible alarm, and then it texts the phone to let us know there's someone in the area who's vaping. Anecdotally, from our social education teachers, where they're able to have those frank conversations, there's at least half of our young people are saying they've either tried it or are vaping. Um, so most of them, that'll be a one-off thing in a, in a way, but it's, it's more significant than we've seen in smoking. Installing the vape alarms allows us to focus on some of the other areas. We're quite a large building. But also we want to make sure that the message is loud and clear. Vaping is not acceptable. We will not permit it. We will not promote it.